Israel hit back at Iran early on October 26, with its military saying it was conducting strikes against military targets in response to Tehran's attacks on Israel. Breaking news tonight, Israel has launched its retaliatory strike against Iran. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge in Israel with the details just coming in tonight. Tonight, Israel unleashing its long-awaited retaliatory strike against Iran. Moments ago, the IDF saying it conducted precise strikes on military targets in Iran in response to that unprecedented Iranian missile assault earlier this month. Iran firing about 200 ballistic missiles towards Israel more than three weeks ago. The regime in Iran and its proxies in the region have been relentlessly attacking Israel since October 7th on seven fronts, including direct attacks from Iranian soil. Iranian state TV confirming strong explosions heard around Tehran. And in the last few minutes, U.S. officials confirming that the U.S. had no involvement in the strikes, but was notified by Israel ahead of time. The U.S. had been pressing Israel only to strike military targets, not Iranian oil or nuclear sites. The exact scale of tonight's attack still unclear. Israeli officials saying both offensive and defensive capabilities are fully mobilized, adding Israel has the right and duty to respond and to defend its people. Israel has been intensifying attacks on both Hamas in Gaza and Iran-backed Hezbollah militants in Lebanon. And David, we just heard from an Israeli official saying the IDF did not target Iran's nuclear or oil infrastructure. That is something the U.S. had been pressing for. We know President Biden has been briefed tonight. The White House saying in a statement Israel targeted only military sites in self-defense. All eyes now, of course, on Tehran. How will the Iranian regime respond with this region on edge? David. All right, Tom Sufi Burge tonight on the breaking news just coming in. Tom, thank you.